friends welcome to quick learn tutorial series in this video i will explain you insulator conductor and semiconductors so there are three necessary material that are utilized in electronics are insulators conductors and semiconductors so in this video i will explain you all the three materials in detail so first is insulator Insulator is a material that does not conduct electric current or we can say that to insulator is a material in which current does not flow easily. The material include paper, plastic, rubber, glass and air. Vacuum is also an insulator but it is not a material. Most electric conductor are covered by insulation. Next is conductor. Conductor is those material in which current flow easily or conductor are the material or substance which allow electricity to flow them easily. They are able to conduct electricity because they allow electron to flow inside them very easily. Conductor have this property of allow the transition of heat or light from one source to another. Most common conductors are copper, aluminium, gold, silver, etc. Now third material is semiconductor. Semiconductor are those material which have a conductivity between conductor and the insulator. It means semiconductor does not allow the free electron to flow as conductor allow. Semiconductor can be pure elements such as silicon, germanium or compounds such as gallium arsenide or cadmium selenide. Semiconductor are those material whose resistivity value are in between insulator and conductor. These materials are neither smart insulators nor smart conductor. Example of semiconductor are silicon or germanium. Semiconductor are the most widely used material for manufacturing electronic components. Now with the help of energy band diagram I explain all three materials in detail. So first we know about what is energy band. When number of atom is combining then the whole energy level are divided into sub energy levels and become overlap. They make a band which is called energy band. Remember that the energy of the free electron is changing continuously. In solid there are three type of energy band. First is field band, second valence band and third is conduction band. So first we know about what is field band, what is valence band and what is conduction band. Field band. As clear from its name, it is that type of band which is near to the nucleus and it is completely full from electron. In that type of band, there is no free electron. That is called field band. Next is valence band. The last band of the atom is called valence band and the electron of that band is called valence electron. When valence electron gain some energy then they leave the band and cross the energy gap which is called the forbidden energy gap and goes to conduction band then current flow start from this material. The energy of the valence band electron is more as compared to field band. Third band is called the conduction band. When free electron are escaped from its permanent atom, then they to conduction band and such process is called conduction. The electron of such band is called free electron. So here this is the valence band and this is conduction band. The electron in the valence band is called valence electron and the electron in the conduction band is called free electron. And this is the band gap energy or forbidden energy gap. So first I explain insulator with the help of energy band diagram. As I have already told, insulator is that material in which current does not flow easily. Just like wood, paper, plastic, oil, these are the insulators. The reason for insulation or current does not flow easily is the wide band gap or also called forbidden energy gap between the valence band and the conduction band. This valence electron want to move from valence band to conduction band for conduction. They require large energy. Next is the conductor. Conductor as I have already told is those material in which current flow easily. 
द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द कंडेक्टर इज सिल्वर कॉपर एल्यूमिनियम दीज ऑल आर द कंडेक्टिंग मटेरियल द रीजन ऑफ कंडेक्शन इज द एबसेंस ऑफ फोर विद इन एनर्जी कैप हियर वी सी देयर इज नो बैंड कैप एनर्जी और फोर विद इन एनर्जी कैप सो ए वेरी स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट देयर आर मैनी फ्री फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन इन द कंडेक्टिंग मटेरियल द वेलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन नीड इज वेरी स्मॉल एनर्जी एंड गो टू द कंडेक्शन बैंड एंड करेंट फ्लो इजिली नेक्स्ट थर्ड मटेरियल इज सेमी कंडेक्टर सेमी कंडेक्टर एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड आर दोज मटेरियल विच हैव कंडेक्टिविटी बिटवीन कंडेक्टर एंड इंसुलेटर इट मीन्स सेमी कंडेक्टर डज नॉट अलाउ द फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन टू फ्लो एज कंडेक्टर अलाउ इन द सेम वे सेमी कंडेक्टर डू नॉट ब्लॉक द करेंट एज इंसुलेटर डू फॉर एग्जाम्पल सिलीकन बोरॉन कार्बन जर्मेनियम ऑल आर द सेमी कंडेक्टर मटेरियल सेमी कंडेक्टर मटेरियल आर यूज फॉर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉम्पोनेंट द रीजन फॉर सच टाइप ऑफ कंडेक्टर इज द स्मॉल बैंड गैप दैट इज इक्वल टू वन ई बी सो द वेलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन इन द वेलेंस बैंड नीड वेरी स्मॉल एनर्जी फॉर कंडेक्शन एंड गो टू द कंडेक्शन बैंड इन सेमी कंडेक्टर हैव कंपेरेटिवली लेस फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन देन द कंडेक्टर now i explain the difference between conductor in semiconductor and insulator on the base of its characteristic first is the definition the definition of conductor is a conductor is a material that allow the flow of charge when applied with a voltage it means conductor allow the flow of current very easily semiconductor a semiconductor is a material whose conductivity lie between conductor and insulator third is insulator insulator is a material that does not allow the flow of current it means it block the flow of current next characteristic is temperature dependency the resistance of a conductor increase with increase in temperature next semiconductor the resistance of a semiconductor decrease with increase in the temperature thus it act as an insulator at absolute zero next third is insulator insulator has very high resistance but it is still decrease with temperature now the conductivity the conductivity of the conductor is very high it is 10 raised to the power minus 7 mo per meter thus they can conduct current easily next is semiconductor the semiconductor conductivity is intermediate between 10 raised to the power minus 7 to 10 raised to the power minus 13 mo per meter thus they can act as a insulator and conductor at different condition next is the insulator the conductivity of the insulator is very low that is 10 raised to the power minus 13 mo per meter thus they do not allow current flow next characteristic is conduction the conduction in the conductor is due to the free electron in metal bonding the conduction in the semiconductor is due to the movement of electron and hole there are no free electron or hole in the insulator thus there is no conduction in insulator now the third characteristic is band gap in conductor there is no band gap between the conduction and the valence band of the conductor it does not need extra energy for the conduction state in semiconductor the band gap of semiconductor is greater than the conductor but smaller than the insulator that is 1 ev their electron need a small energy for conduction state insulator the band gap energy in the insulator is huge plus 5 ev electron volt which need a large amount of energy like lightning to push electron into the conduction band now next characteristic is resistivity conductor having low resistivity 10 raised to the power minus 5 ohm per meter semiconductor is normal resistivity 10 raised to the power minus 5 ohm per meter to 10 raised to the power 5 ohm per meter insulator resistivity is very high 10 raised to the power 5 ohm per meter next characteristic is coefficient of resistivity in conductor a positive coefficient of resistivity that is it resistance increase with temperature semiconductor has negative coefficient of resistivity 
in insulator the coefficient of resistivity of an insulator is negative but it has very huge resistance now now at absolute zero degree temperature some special conductor turn into super conductor when super cool down to absolute zero degree temperature other have finite resistance semiconductor the semiconductor turn into insulator at zero degree temperature insulator the insulator resistance increase when cool down to absolute zero next characteristic is valence electron in outer cell in conductor one valence electron in outer cell semiconductor four electron in outer cell and insulator eight valence electron in outer cell example of conductor semiconductor insulators are conductor gold copper silver aluminum etc having good conductor of electricity and heat semiconductor silicon germanium antimony gallium arsenide boron these are the semiconductor material insulator rubber glass wood air mica plastic paper these are the insulator material applications the metal like iron and copper etc that can conduct electricity are made into wire and cable for carrying electric current semiconductor are used every day electronic device such as cell phone computer solar panel etc as switch energy converter amplifier diodes etc insulator are used for protection high voltage and preventation of electric shorts between cable and circuits so these are the applications of conductor semiconductor and insulator